Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So surprise, surprise, another video I have not filmed the intro for. So here is the intro now. So this is a what I eat in a week video. It's sort of like Monday to Friday. Same principles with my last what I eat in a week video as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you watch it and I hope you enjoy it. And thank you for clicking on this video. So jumping into breakfast, which is still the same as my last what I eat video, if you've seen that, which is firstly always a morning coffee and then just jam on toast. I have previously said that when I get into breakfast I stick with it for a long time and then depending on what I'm doing that day I might switch it up but because I'm in lockdown I don't have much of a schedule. For that reason I won't be showing you my breakfast like every day in this video um, as it's literally the same so from now it will just be me showing my lunch and tea. So for lunch on Monday I had a vegetable soup that my mum made with some toast. It was very nice despite looking a little bit of a grim colour. And then for tea I had a leftover beef casserole with some frozen vegetables and mashed potato and a leftover Yorkshire pudding. I had to make new mash which is why I showed myself boiling potatoes. Then going into Tuesday for lunch, I had a lunch that I really enjoy that basically consists of cottage cheese and Ribita crackers. I know cottage cheese looks gross but I just really like it I think because it's something I had a lot as a child so I normally put on a cracker like this with the cucumber on top as I absolutely love the combo. Then for tea, I took a really bad video of a beef pie I had at my dad's house. It was actually two different pies, which we had half of each of because we wanted to try both of them. They were like different brands. Um, and also I'm aware this is really similar to yesterday's tea, but because I don't live with my dad, it's not like he tracks what I have for tea. Then on Wednesday, I had more leftover soup and toast. And to be honest, it wasn't very much. So I also had a packet of crisps too. Lovely classic spinning crisp. Um, and then I wanted to cook something meat free for tea as I felt as though I'd had meat slash sort of red meat for two meal days in a row and that's not really something I like doing all the time so I do try to have at least like one to three veggie meals a week so I made this lentil pasta sauce which is basically just tomato pasta but made from lentils so I decided to show you how I made it it's really simple and has really basic ingredients so the ingredients are just onion garlic, carrot, celery, vegetable stock cubes, a can of chopped tomatoes, red lentils, tomato puree and oregano. Obviously you can add other things and I also don't really have accurate measurements to give you because I literally just guessed but I'd say this would make enough for about four portions. So I decided to grate the carrot as I think it works better and I also did want to grate the celery but it was too limp and it wouldn't be great. Um, because I don't really like celery whole um, but it does add good flavour so I just tried to cut it up as small as possible and then I just cut up the onion and the garlic then I put the onion in the pan with oil and let that cook out for a bit for adding the other cut up pieces of veg and sort of like fried cooked that for a little bit and then I added the stock the can of tomatoes, the oregano and the tomato paste and stirred it and brought it to the boil and then when it was boiling I added the red lentils in which depending on what it says on the packet needs simmering um, for like different amounts of time I think it just depends on the type um, so I think I did it for about 25 minutes and it was all good and I also had this with some garlic bread as well Then on Thursday I had like a mid-morning smoothie after I've been on a walk just because I really felt like it and I don't normally make these in the winter because they make me even colder than I already am but I really really wanted one um, so this just had oranges, banana and frozen strawberries and raspberries and then just pineapple juice so I had that all blended up nicely with my new magic bullet blender 
and then for lunch I had a classic cheese toasty. So I forgot to film the clip of my tea on Thursday so it literally just skips straight to dessert. Then for tea I had a chilli con carne and then after I tried to make a pancake from leftover mixture but I'm not very good at keeping them around which you can see from the video um, but it still tasted really good. So then on Friday I had another cheese toasty for lunch just like yesterday, sorry for the repetitiveness but I find it hard to think of different things to have for lunch, um, especially at the moment. And then for tea I made myself a vegetable noodle stir fry, um, on Fridays my mum likes to have fish but I'm not all that into it so I usually make something different and today I was feeling a stir fry um, but just with vegetables because I felt like, like I said earlier in the week I had a lot of meat. So I basically just chopped up all the veg and then I boil them for about 5 minutes because I really hate crunchy veg unless it's baby sweet corn. So I didn't put those in but I just boiled the others for a few minutes because it really does make a difference on making it a little bit less crunchy. And then I scooped all of the veg into the pan um, I was going to use to fry it in. Um, I did it like this instead of like draining it draining the water out because then the pot of water was still boiling and it also had the leftover flavours from the veg so I could just put the noodles straight in and they would start boiling straight away um, and then I put the veg in the pan with some oil and fried it for a bit and I was feeling a peanut buttery sauce tonight so I made this sauce by kind of guessing it looks really gross but it does make it taste nice um, and it basically just consisted of peanut butter, soy sauce, garlic powder and cayenne pepper and then once I had fried the veg for a bit I added in the noodles and then the sauce and just mixed it around and then I randomly decided to just add in an egg so I just cracked that in the middle of it and scrambled it all in and that was basically my tea on Friday night. Somebody